this video is to show iBoSight, the brand new application from Fireknock, which including the iPhone, the bracket itself, and future optics that go into the 116 screw mount hole, and the iPhone. These four things consist of the entire iBoSight. This is an ordering iPhone 4S with just some camo skin, which also can show you that if you like camo skins, you can definitely put it on. The eyeball side do not affect the mounting of the of the iPhone even with the skin on. Okay, let's turn it on. This is my the brand new eyeball side app. As you can see, there's absolutely nothing. It's just an iPhone, so it is an app. Yes, that's an app for bow hunting too. Well, let me go through the features of the basic screen. As you know, this is the ring, and that's the first dot, which is your aiming point. And this is your profile that currently in use. Every single profile go through the profile selector. As you can see right now, there's two profile, the default and the one I use usually. And there's four spaces on top. The first space is when you see a red dot, that means it is being recording. That's a pendulum function. And there should be a vibration alert, and in the future, there should be a radar enable system. And this is the recording button, and this is a setting button. And underneath it is the water level. Well, let's go into see how all the functions and settings of the eyeball side. The eyeball side setting have six windows. The first window is the pin window. The second is the ring. The third is the zoom and pan. The fourth is the third axis adjustment pendulum adjustment and the profile description itself. Okay, let's go in and do the profile description so we'll name it. We'll call this one, how about Dodge Hunting 1. Okay, that's the one. And I'm going to use it for my Dalton 3500 S. And then on my arrow on this one is going to be GT Pro Hunter. Say, and then my arrow length is going to be 29 and a half. And I'm going to, oh, 29 and a half. And I'm going to use, say, basically a few points. Uh, I would say arrow point. Nine. All right. After I done, see there's two more features underneath it. First of all, do, do I enable, allow the system to enable the pendulum? And second, is auto rec on launch. Now, if you have this enabled, the moment you turn the eyeball side on, you instantly go into recording mode. The moment you put it in background, the auto record on launch will also be actually enabled because it is a true multitasking app. Okay, I'm going to save this. Now you go back to the original screen. Now we can move forward to the pin screen. I'm going to set this side for three pins so it's pretty easy to see. I'm going to select the pin first. I'm going to add three pins. First pin, second pin, and third pin. Okay, let me move the pin a bit lower so we can see this. Now the reason I would like to set the pin up this way because this side also has pendulum ability and I will show you very fast how that would work. And I'll try to move, make my first pin in the middle. Okay, that's in most cases, people like myself would like the first pin to be green, so I can choose a color function. I make that green, and the second pin, I will make it like most both sides would like to use, I will make it yellow. All right, so now I have three basic pins, but uh, we also can change the shape of the pin. Say the second pin, I would prefer to be a crosshair, but a little bit larger. You can see that I can enlarge and shrink in any shape or form, or I can be a very fine-tuning. I can actually increase the size of the pin by a factor of three thousandths of an inch and I can move it up and down and this is how you actually size your bow in. Instead of using micro adjust, this is called finer adjust. See that is three thousand of an inch increment. And finally I go to the third pin, I say I'm going to work, make the shapes to be, so I'll make it fun. Let's go with this shape right here. No, this shape doesn't look good. Let's go with the, a circular, but we want to make it bigger so we can see it. Now you can see all three pins. I'm going to accept this. Now the pin is set up. Assume that my bow 
I'm going to go to side ring. As you see, most of the bolts are really not going to be right in the center. And not to mention the ring is not going to be just right. So actually, you can actually shrink the size of the ring and enlarge it. And you can move it around in any shape or form. And this is a rough movement. And then you can kind of fine tune it. For example, if my bow is a little bit too what's this, you can actually, instead of using micro adjust, you can use final adjust. And every tap of that, you can see the X axis is changing by 3000. And you notice there's also two colors, A and B. I just choose the first color under red. I'm going to make it red. And then I'm going to choose another color. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake. The first color, I want it green. And the second color, red. Now, the ring color is going to have two colors. That's the reason behind it. I will discuss that very shortly. Okay, now we go to the third portion, which is zoom and pen. The system allows you to use the digital zoom in the system. So if you put your finger here, you see, I'm going to put something behind it. So you can see that I can zoom in and zoom out. So that when you set a profile, the pin is based on your zoom. Because if you don't, those pins don't mean anything. And I'll put it back to 1x. And of course, I can finite, finite zoom it by using, say, x and y axis zoom. So you can actually adjust whatever you have inside there to perfection. That's how you handle the optical incorrections. And finally, the third axis. In the third axis, you can go calibrate. Calibrating, for example, your bow is a little bit crooked and so on, you can reset the crooked of your bow to your original axis. And you also can tell the system called level sensitivity. Now, this portion is will actually work with the iPhone itself. Now, you see that? It turned red. See that? That is based on the ring color, the two ring color. The moment I bring it back, see that? Within five degree sensitivity, it turned green. And then it turned red again. Now, if I drop it to, say, four, three degree or two degree, so now you can see that the level have to be in two degree for the ring to turn green. For example, I see the ring is green. I don't like my level to be green. I can go color. And now I can make it into, say, a, a more progressive light blue color. You can see that the level is light blue. In some cases, people like the level a little bit closer to their sight. Now you can adjust the level in any shape or form. And if you use one pin, you can pull your level all the way up. I prefer somewhere around here. So now... The third axis is done. And finally, it's the pendulum. This is a very, very fun function. The reason I put the, you can see that that is the pin. And that pin is based on the circle's radius. And you can actually change the pin. In this case, I'm going to make the shape, say, into a triangle. So you can see definitely different. And I want to make the color into a light pink. No, a deep pink. You can see the pendulum is right there. And I want to make it a little bit bigger so we can differentiate the, the pieces. Let me move this aside. You can see that better. Okay. And now I'm going to tune it. I will tell the system, the moment the bow drops down to 45 degrees, it will activate the pendulum. Now, the pendulum upside is that, as you notice, faster bow, the, the trajectory is going to be flatter. So you want to adjust it this way, and the slower bow should be shorter, so you can adjust it this way. And most probably, as far as about 290 feet per second bow, the zero is going to be just about right. As you are 300, you're going to be doing plus two, plus three. Okay, after this is set, I'm going to accept it. And everything is done, I'm going to click this. Now, this end up to be a sight of what it is. See that? The pendulum function is indeed enabled. Now, I'm going to show you how the pendulum works. Now we are perfect. Now, see the moment I move my bow more than two degree, the red kicks in. See that? I'll tilt it. Now go back to green. Now, if I set the third axis to be off, the system will refine what the new axis is. Now, as my bow, the gear get closer and closer and closer, the moment it reach 45 degree, look at what happened. It become a pendulum sight. And based on the bow speed, see how the pendulum actually move to compensate and give you that. Of course, if you move back to 45 degree, see that the whole thing will come back. And that's how the eyeball side worked. Now, how do you put this thing on your bow to make sure it's accurate? For this one, it's called the eyeball side safari bracket. It is superbly built. I think it's a little bit overbuilt, but we figure some people would like the ruggedness of the eyeball side of the eyeball will love this bra this bracket. We're going to have a lighter version of it that do not have. See this version of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight prongs. This eight prongs, would that means that with 16 points grabbing the iPhone, I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to put the iPhone inside this bracket. You can see it actually have a clip into it. 
You can hear that. And then it will also go to the second part. You can actually hear it. I'm going to quiet. You can hear that? And then you use the clip. The clip have a very important function. See how this piece is? Through geometry, it's going to actually push the thing together and hear this click. Now the phone is as solid as it gets. As you can see clearly from here, all the buttons of the iPhone are actually not touched. In the future, we believe we will make a plug to plug up this hole and a plug to plug up this hole, which technically will prevent it from getting water into the whole system. Now, how does it work? If you put on a bow, I mean, it looks pretty good right now. How difficult or how fast can it get done? Now, this is very important. This bracket actually will hold the iPhone plus and minus, I would say, put about 3,000 in the first 1,500. Now, so far, I would say I take it in and out about 500 times to demonstrate to every people nonstop for so many days. I'll put it on a bow, on actually on a bow, which is the shortest bow that you can get. My son's craze, so you can get a better idea how does it look like. See, this is bow all set up. I'm going to take it apart. I'm going to put my bow, my bow side into the into the bow. You can hear it's actually clipped together, and then click. You see how solid that is. Now let me just hold the phone alone. You can see that I can shake the bow, and nothing moves. That's how solid eyeball side is. And this is what it looked like when you started. Oh, I can have a better angle to show you what it looks like. Well, that's eyeball sight version 1.1 should 1.0 supposed to be on the iPhone the iTunes store within a very short time. And thank you for your time and, and hope you enjoy the eyeball site as much as I do. See that? It goes straight to the pendulum. Thank you.